uh, habit breaking appliance at six years, six five point five. Yes, if the habit is so aggressive that it's causing a like what a ten millimeter change in over bite, and it's during sleeping, I can give it. So anyway, we we'll start from here. Nine years, boy attends for assessment. He's in the mixed dentition with the permanent incisor and the possible erupted. His dentist discovered an unerupted invert. Uh, Mizudens on the occlusal view. We discussed previously, even uh, someone shared upper occlusal and the incisors are erupted and it's causing nothing, right? The patient cannot tolerate. So, for these cases, we are monitoring. We discussed that previously. So, it depends on the picture. The picture I've seen, the incisors are erupted and the Mizudens is not erupt, uh, affecting anything, like, but even if it's not going for extra space requirement, not causing an amidin diastema. You have recently experienced a problem with a high number of patients returning debunked. Already discussed this one. Uh, smaller bracket base, I believe. And in the literature, they say that there's no smaller base bracket base, but if they make it uh, smaller from a certain area, like what, six, something like but less than 6.8 millimeters here then like but it's affect the bond strength because etching of the mesh increase the bond strength because increase the surface area low profile of the bracket and the hook in fact it will prevent from the trauma and it's not related with the bond strength funneling of the tube not related with the bond strength we have seen it in um like what the tip edge plus brackets a v-shaped notch like what this that is given on the top of the tube right so this is also not related with the bond strength and what modification of the molar tube most likely to cause the recent increase in demand rates? There's nothing in evidence base. Like what people can buy it for the funnel, like what you can, because they can give like what the extra uh, wire to control the tip, the V-shaped notch because they will uh, see that uh, where is the middle of the tube to coincide with the middle of the tooth, and they can also um, take the etching because increase of uh, break uh, like what the bond strength, low profile. Because the patient or some patients are conscious about their profile, they want something smaller. So anything. Twenty one is like what A and twenty two has no answer. A twenty two. Patient wants to go for a static brackets. What side effect you will explain to the patient about using monofist line? They get strained over a period of time, very minor. Fracture strength decreases with time. Yes. Monofist brackets have a rough surface low, more prone to fracture due to the radical low, high bond strength, cause to fracture. Monofist line bracket fracture. I think for the patient, uh, both monocrystalline, polycrystalline, sometimes the question is the comparison between monocrystalline and polycrystalline. In that case, the B is important. But for the patient, the most important thing would be the fracture of the tooth, your bone strength, then like by the fracture of the brackets. Yes. In that, like what there is another question where they are making a comparison between monocrystalline and polycrystalline. Here they are asking only about the monocrystalline. So for a patient, uh, he will give more importance to a fracture of a tooth than the breakage of the bracket. What probe is used for secondary periodontal? I don't know. <laughs> there is no secondary periodontal examination. If there is, like what someone can tell me, because it's primary periodontal pair. Maybe for the children, they are saying <laughs> because that is the simplified basic periodontal exam. Comment here, ask can you BP? A seven year old child was brought by a buried parent orthodontic with a chief complaint of mild crowding in the mandibular incisor, insufficient extraction deficits, and alignment of his front teeth. However, no intervention was done and the parents were kept to follow up and were advised to visit after approximately a year. On re-evaluation, the crowding has been resolved. The most probable phenomena involved is 
uh, like what they have given for this incisor liability, like what the lower incisor propline, the intercanine distance increase, utilization of the scanty, scanty spaces with the permanent no utilization of the primate space. Yes, that can be also. B. You wish to compare classroom allocation by using cephalometric analysis. It's 9.8 percent. We have discussed because there is a formula for this. And if you do this formula, like but exactly 9.8 percent. A 40 years old patient is undergoing pre surgical orthodontic treatment, upper left core extraction, while upper right core has nine years. So we will discuss because there is a picture there and it's a low maxillary sinus there. Otherwise, it can be our gloss reach, like what a narrow reach. A large freeway space is most related to a freeway space. A lateral concussive cross bite, no anterior so jet, no anterior cross bite, no anterior open bite, anterior deep bite. Frankly, don't know. If anyone has an answer for this, just let me know. I don't know. Because previous space is in the buckle segment. Yeah. So someone, if someone knows the answer. What is your management of this case if you wish to, uh, if you find the cause of the delayed eruption? We will create space. Forming the picture is due to personal supernumerary teeth. Create space, extract supernumerary teeth first and align the center lines. Uh, extract the supernumerary teeth and monitor for six months. Expose the central inside, extract the supernumerary teeth and then create space. Ideally, they say that you should create space. No, we have to extract the, we have to create space, extract the supernumerary, bond a gold chain, right? And like what they said, you can leave it at such, or you can do the traction. Because in a single surgery, you have to, like what, uh, bond the gold chain and extract the supernumerary. Create space, access, and, uh, and align the center in place. Uh, extract, extract. Yes. The patient should also be given in such cases because then the treatment uh, modality also changes with the age of the patient. If it's less than 10 years, because in handbook they have written less than 10 yes. years. Or For the time being, you people patient. should follow the guidelines. I told you there is a, uh, a systematic review by the same team who have written the guidelines. They said, now like what they said, there should be bonding, right? And traction. So it should be create space first and expose the central, extract the central. So it it's option A. Or none of the above. Just give me a second. Yeah. Just give me a second.
so that's the last question. What, what can you see in this radiograph? It's a odontoma and it's a, com a, a compound because I can see numerous structures there with the dentine and enamel. What was the option of compound? A, B, 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 B or B? B, B. Uh, what type of location is useful in the pre or dental training for adults and children with learning disabilities? Uh, it's conscious sedation, but in conscious sedation, they have mentioned that the conscious sedations are like what? The medicine like midazolam, right? These type of conscious sedations. They do not mean like what? Giving some gases. Yes. Yes. So it, it's not inhalation. It's like what? Giving some medicine to cool down the patient, right? And then like what? They go for the topical anesthesia or the infiltration anesthesia. Yes, Dr. Prana, you have read the guidelines. Please. Yes, it's the same that you are referring yes. to. It's the same. Mm -hmm. yes, because it's not mentioned here, and many people from conscious radiation things like what giving the gas is too much. You have a new association in practice which recently you have experienced increase in insufficient working time. Your nurse is mixing GIC material according to the manufacturing instruction and portal liquid ratio. You, you sh what you should advise your new assistant to. Mix GIC on a cool glass slab. That can be a tough. Increase PLO ratio. Ratio is not important because she's already mixing. So it's a E. I cannot read this one. Can you read this one? A child hemi. I have this answer. Okay. Okay. So just read it. A child hemi. Okay. Read what? Okay. So if the upper incisor inclination is normal, 10 millimeter OJ, retognathic mandible. No, severe OJ. Yes, it's not. There's a severe object. So MB would be uh, MB would be it can be seven, it can be eight, right? So what's the difference between seven and eight? A child hemming. Can you read the question again for me? Because I cannot see. AMB7, MMA25, IMPA93, and AMB8, 8. Might be like what if you go in the less likely AMB7 would be because if the IMPA is 128, then the object won't be 10. It can be D, E, yes. You are planning a study to affect orthodontic on the temperamental joint health in a group of 200 children. Eight, 10 years will be followed up for. So we went for a cohort. Option D. No treatment for this one. Macrodontia. Macrodontia was due to pain of the central incisor. Most, most likely at 10 years, we are doing nothing. Once the tooth erupt, trimming of the for time being nothing. E. Uh, 
11 year present severe anterior growth rotation on the mandible normal the upper low incisor which feature more likely find we have solved this one present with severe ojet anterior growth rotations means deep bite right uh, like uh, counterclockwise rotation of the mandible with normal inclination upper low incisors what feature is likely to found in this patient anterior open bite no anterior upper anterior crowding lower anterior spacing Sir, it least likely to be found so it's option anterior open bite yes sir least like because it is a feature of the posterior growth rotation yes it's a like what a forward rotation right yes sir e for a counter uh, clockwise rotation A danger claim for conjunctive is upright. What is appropriate man management? It extract. See if it's asymptomatic, I will leave it as such. If it's symptomatic, like what, I will go for the extractions. Place a separator. No, this is not. Extraction upright, second desperate is molar. Observe and review within six months. I will go with C. C. Yes, we can do extraction even with the probe. Engaging a probe here and extracting it. On seven years, comes to your teeth. History of examination showed that his first permanent molar started at six months ago, but since then there has been no progression in the eruption. It partially erupted. Shows that the absence of lamina dura. How will you manage this tooth? So it's ankylosis. Frankly, I'll Observe and review the partially erupted tooth on annual basis. Monitor and wait for the completion of growth and assess accordingly. Orthodontic extrusion, segmental osteotomy, orthodontic intrusion of the adjacent teeth. The problem with segmental osteotomy would be that once we have done it, frankly, it depends on the level of how much it's ankylosed. So if it's minor ankylosed, you can simply like zed the tooth like that and move it. If it's major, then you can follow segmental osteotomy. The problem with that comes with segmental osteotomy is that once you have kept it at a certain level, like what he's seven. So even you make the cruiser level correct after four or five years, again, like what that would fall back because it's ankylosis. So I think at some level you have to do right now, it's not a segmental osteotomy. Monitor and wait for the completion. I think B. Because if the ankylosis is there, then it, it is not going to correct. And uh, ideally, the tooth should be monitored. If the neighboring teeth are tipping, you have to keep a space maintained. Or the good practice is extract that tooth later on. Want to use sliding mechanics? What is a bracket slot? Two to slot D. Okay, from the same bank from where uh, Raktania did her MCQs. After 35 years old, female presented with a class 2D1 with a, on a mild class 2 skeletal base and decreased low facial height. The patient has a potentially low lip but can achieve a co lip competence. She has no concern about her facial work. Her OJ at Meyer is 7 mm with the maxillary incisor and 125 mm to the maxillary plane and mandibular incisor at 92 degree. What is the most appropriate plan for the reduction of OJ? So it's a camouflage. So upper incisor 125. And I think there was in one question there was something about nasal label. But, but there is nothing nasal label in this question. So it's upper retoplination. Okay. Twelve years old attends for assessment. Her dentist is concerned about partially erupted low left second. There is nothing on the left side. Plus, with a moderate upper and lower arch crowding, I'll do you would correct her myeloclean through the extraction of the fourth premolar teeth and fix appliances. What is the most appropriate extraction pattern taking from a low left second molar? We have solved this one. Yes, the second molar is there. So. On examination, she has a class one malocleon with moderate upper and lower arch crowding. So if it's a class one, we can do it all four. 
and we can do an fish burn. Yes, sir. We can go either for upper four, lower five. But since the option is not given, so we have to go for extraction or something. We cannot go for lower five order. because the class it's a class one more relationship. The more relations yes, are not sir. mentioned here. Yes, sir. So we can go with the extraction of the premolars only. Yes, A. That's why we decided previously. What is the most likely history of these 12 years? Uh, it's not clear, but everyone I showed, they said that it's evolution, so it's A, and like what the premolars are there. We discussed this one even yesterday, I think Dr. Palda shared it. And I think I changed my option. Previously, I said risk of fracture, but I discussed with Imad, and he said that nerve damage and CBCT. So see, uh, sir, sir, in the previous uh, previous MCQ, you already mentioned that at the age of seven years, you do not uh, do uh, the auto transplantation. Yes, because the MCQ is wrong. Of... It's, it's auto transplantation here. The MCQ is technically wrong, right? So if we have to give one option, that is the option. But the MCQ is technically wrong. These are premolars place here, so we cannot do it. What else we can do here? An adult patient, she has started treatment elsewhere. She's currently wearing these appliances with a plan for later orthogenetic surgery. She is concerned about the risk of surgery and asked you to go through the again. What is complication? It is most to wear it. Bruising, swelling, and paresthesia, yes. Bruising and blood loss leading to transformation and death. Even like what all surgeons take this consent to from the patient. Mm -hmm. Bleeding, transient paresthesia, no transient, no chest infection. Bleeding, blackening mm -hmm. of the teeth, no. Acute ulceration, gingivitis, no. Bruising, relapse of the gingival correction and infection with MRSA. What is MRSA? I think it's E because there is some relapse. So, do we have these preparious infections? Sometimes. Uh, might be E. Might be E then. Why? Because there is a certain relapse. Bruising, relapse of surgical infection. Bruising, swelling, and paresthesia. A is more important. Like what all the patients having A. Okay, I'll delete this one. Uh, hello, what about an option A? Because o OPG shows open apex of the central plus segmental fix. What would be possible plus? Amanda is a 10 years old female with history of controlled asthma. Amanda presented with retained N5, 75, and 35, and 25 upon teeth are aligned with complete natural loss of tooth number is 75 below the cemento in number junction and the dull sound of percussion with the loss of lumina due to 10 years. So 
present me the retained and infrared truth that is 75. 75 is and that's your second molar on the left side. Yes, yes. And I'm missing 3, 5. So the low 3, 5 is missing and a 2, 5. 3, 5 is missing and the upper 2, 5 is missing. Upper, upper teeth are well aligned with complete unilateral natural loss of Upper teeth are well aligned with complete natural loss of the space of 2, 5 while the lower arch is spaced. The object and the orbit are normal. Tooth number 75 is below the same junction. I think we decided we will expect them if the permanent tooth is missing. 10 years, like what we leave and monitor the tooth, no composite buildup, no extractions and followed by 10 implant, no extractions of E. Ten years old presenting with a midline. How to make sure that the frenum is comfortable to the do a blanch test? Pull the frenum and see if the blanch appear. E. A patient presented with a deboned bracket several times on a PFM crown. See the etching process is wrong here. Yes. Paint will be done, filter is not done, light curing, no done. So I don't know, cell use of cell. Consequently, you will use line coupling again. What addition modification do you need to do on this protocol along with line coupling again? Omit both H and unfilled resin, yes. Because it's a PFM porcelain. So you can directly use this. Use chemical cure, no. Use uh, search primer, no. Extend light curing time, no. It's a... Okay, I'm close, otherwise I was willing to close it. Frankly, I'm, I've decided that I won't give this telegram more than like what, uh, 40 minutes. A porcelain debonded next year, what is a protocol you need to modify? It depends that what we have done first, but usually we do sand blasting with line coupling again, then 55E, 55 Female presented your clinic. She was seeking orthodontic treatment. She just got employed a new job and she requests multiple increased treatment duration due to high friction. Yes, that can be done. Brackets will look more opaque. No, brackets will get discolored during treatment. Very light. Bracket more difficult to remove during deboning. I think she would be uh, more concerned about the treatment time because even deboning, like what there are a lot of modifications. Uh, A, B, C, D, E. You are treating a patient on extraction basis. What particular night type is of important? I think the long range. D seventy one D. A class two treatment was a patient was referred to an orthodontic surgery with a moderate crowding in the part. Now you will start decompensation. What is your treatment plan for decompensation? I don't know. Frankly, there should be other feature. Extract upper premolars. A class three patient, I leave the, yes, I leave the. I think that's the last question. I already solved this. 15, you came to your clinic for a regular routine. On diagnosis, you found that she developed class one, class three, BSI. What did that mean? Which is standard, class three inside the relation. Yes. Although she was class one, what do you think? The close coil spring in the extraction space for the space cloyer did not make a lace back. The unfavorable growth, the wrong treatment plan. So, in a 15 years patient, yes, there can be unfavorable growth. Uh, the wrong treatment plan from the beginning. No, they did the four extraction. Uh, did not make lace back. Like, but according to Fleming, the lace back did not have effect. It's a systematic review. Right. And uh, the coil supporting place in the extraction space. Yes, 
but I don't know like what it passive or active. For space glowier. So the pulse spring for space glowier, so that not pronounced. So unfavorable growth. Because the lace pack, we have a systematic review for this from the beginning. They do not affect C. There's no question, there's no question, there's no question. This one question. Okay. Ellen is a nine years who is accompanied by pain present to general dentist for the complaint pain and swelling the lower left teeth on both sides. And both his lower permanent first molar were turned into broken down roots. Then we cannot do anything. The patient has to attract his both lower permanent molar pains that this is due to the disease and that there's some effect on the dentition. What are the side effects that may occur? Formation of the second molar is delayed. No, it will accelerate. Uh, Overbite increase and label segment due to pline. I think the molars do not affect the anterior segment. Formation of second molar is accelerated, so it's B. Formation of third molar is B, B. Yes. So when we extract it nine, like what they accelerate, so it's option B. And, and nothing. Pushing here. Okay. I forget drugs from both. Let me see what are the messages. C, C, D, D. If there's some confusion, just let me know. Otherwise, I'm close to the meeting. Okay, see you everyone.